My international garden feature this week is an absolute ripper here in Northern Ireland. If you're staying in Belfast, you've got to make sure you take the half hour journey out to check this out. It is truly beautiful. This is Mount Stewart House and Gardens, over a hundred acres of just stunning landscape. And it's all the vision of the seven Marchioness. Now, this lady, she was truly remarkable. Her name was Edith, Lady of Londonderry. And what she created here is absolutely stunning. Come on, let's have a look around. Owned by the Stewart family since 1744, they started an arboretum initially, using plants collected from around the globe. In the day, to sponsor one of the great botanical plant hunters was something that nobility did to further society. And Alexander Stewart purchased this land atop Mount Pleasant and built the neoclassical residence that exists today. Now, this is all a result of his family's success as linen manufacturers and marrying later generations to other wealthy members of society. The planning for this garden started at the turn of the 19th century. At that point, they started importing soil here, materials, and scouring the world for the plants that would make up all the themed gardens. Now, the very first one was actually the Shamrock Garden, but then there came this beautiful formal garden, and this has just been restored. So the planting intensity is nothing like it was back in the 1930s. I've seen photos, and it was just remarkable. Over the back, we have just a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous Italian garden. There's the Dodo Terrace, over here woodlands, and even a man-made lake. You do not want to miss experiencing this garden. It's inspirational. The garden features collections of plants from the far reaches of the globe, including Australia and New Zealand. One thing I've discovered is that cordelines, we know them as New Zealand cabbage trees, despite the marketing otherwise, are best grown in a very wet place. The cordelines you find here are enormous trees, the biggest I've seen outside of their homeland, New Zealand. In 1977, Lady Mary Bury gave this incredible house and estate to the National Trust to manage. And in that period of time, they've continued to improve it and it just gets better. I've been here before, but I've never seen it as good as it is here today. Now, in 2009, at the age of 88, Lady Mary Bury passed away, the last of the Londonderry family to actually live here and she left this incredible legacy that the family created and passed on. And the best thing about this is that you don't have to be a local to experience it. You can come and experience it for yourself. Mount Stewart House and Gardens, and of course, the Temple of the Winds. This is truly beautiful and something you don't want to miss. This is a place you just have to come and experience for yourself. It is widely considered one of the very best gardens and historical house experiences you can have in Northern Ireland. And for me, it's certainly one of the best you can discover here. Just 30 minutes out of Belfast, it's easy to access too, making it a terrific day trip.